Hello students and welcome to um, summer of the Adobe Illustrator shortened eight-week class for 2022 and I am your instructor Brian Sorio as you will see my picture several times but this is a quick movie to show you that what you're about to see um, is a movie that I made last summer which of course has all the dates for last summer but the reason I'm showing it again is because it's very pertinent to this summer but I want you to when you are looking at um, the dates that are in that movie of course the dates are going to be wrong they're going to be 2021 but I want to show you right here that the syllabus that you have that I'm uh, attaching to this email and uh, you're going to get an opening email before class even begins and it's going to have the correct syllabus with the correct dates and it's in front of you right here so let me um, just expand it a little bit and what I'm going to do is zoom in and you can see the dates are all correct okay um, uh, week one is the 23rd of May and it goes all the way until 716 which is July 16th so refer to your first day handout for everything pertinent that has to do with 2022 now um, so I'm gonna show you uh, and I'm not gonna go through this right now because I obviously go through it in the movie I'm about to show you right now so you're about to see this movie yeah this is a movie right here this is the movie that uh, I made in 2021 and you're gonna see as I go through it that it says the 2021 dates just ignore them just use your first day handout and syllabus for this but the reason I'm showing you this is not only to show you our new grandbaby and that's of course me grandpa B but I show you all sorts of things that are updated for 2022 and one of those is going to be the updated pictures of Remy he just had his first birthday and we're gonna I'm gonna go through this real quick with you um, this is our boy our grandson um, at 13 months old and you can see that says 13 month I'm sorry his birthday which we had last month when we went from Colorado to Michigan um, that's his mom holding him and that's my wife um, Wendy and that's your silly professor and there's my son with his son so three generations and people say that Remy looks more like me then especially the hair but um, uh, then his dad but his dad doesn't like that so this is his I love mom 13 month old picture that kid is so cute do you believe how many teeth he has at 13 months anyway that is a typical thing for Remy when he gets a toy which he has millions of he likes to play in the box not really Play with the toys too much but he does I mean he does um, obviously loving Star Wars and um, Remy's whole room his whole um, growth is Star Wars his whole everything around him is Star Wars anyway we love it and uh, again this is great that's Remy's favorite pastime is eating um, he's already almost over 30 pounds and he's 13 months old um, but he loves to eat as you can see and that's um, my wife Wendy we, we she's Yaya and I'm Grandpa B so um, let's get on with the semester and that's the updated version of Remy thanks everything in this movie that you're gonna see dates of 2021 just ignore them again just ignore them and I've even updated the assignment sheet which is right there for 2022 which I'll show you before I go into this movie so that's it that's just a real quick introduction everything else in this movie is very pertinent to what I want you to know about me and about this class and about the assignments you're going to do and about canvas which is the online learning system that you're in that you're going to be in and the assignment guides and everything else okay so this movie is very pertinent I really like this movie it goes through a whole bunch of stuff as you can see everything in here is Adobe Illustrator don't get overwhelmed by it I assume you none of you have ever been in Adobe Illustrator okay so for now I'm gonna put this movie aside and I'm going to bring over the first day handout which you have in, in the email that I've given you and it's available online which I will show you in a second but in this first day handout all the dates um, apply all the links apply 
So just go ahead and click the links. Now the first thing I want to show you, and I do also say this in the movie, is about this number. But stay tuned for why that number, that 877 number is important. Okay. So um, here I have the summer 2022 assignment sheet. All the dates apply to 2022. All right, so that will also be in the email that I am sending you just so you can see when, for instance, you can zoom into this. Look at how clear everything is, okay? So I kept it as vector, which means non-resolution dependent. You know, you most of you know Photoshop, right? You know that when you blow up something, you see pixels. Well, that's called resolution dependent. That's raster. Vector is illustrator, which is based on coordinate points, okay, like geometry. So when I tell you in week one that two files are due, please use this assignment guide to make sure you're turning in both files. You can see for week one, week, um, week three, because I give you two weeks on this one, week four and week five, there are two assignments due. There is really only one assignment due for the character art other than you turning in your initial sketch, which you will see because a really cool thing is in, and this is Canvas here, okay, a really cool thing is in Canvas that I have placed in here, again, which you might see 2021 dates on it, but it applies to 2022. Each module, I'm in your Canvas class. I'll show you in the movie coming up how to get into your Canvas class. And if you can't get into your Canvas class, what to do about that. But I want to end this really fast and get you into that other movie. So um, each module, and you will see where the modules are and how to click into them, has a Watch Me First movie. It guides you through what's due and how to get it done and what asset files you use. So week one has um, a movie that also corresponds because week one is really week one and two. I give you two weeks on the first assignment just to get you into Adobe Illustrator. But I have Watch Me First Movie for week three. It is, it's going to say Watch Me First Movie in here for any other week that you need. I'm not seeing them right here. So I'm going to go back and put them in there, okay? So um, just stay tuned for this movie and everything coming up and um, email me if you have any questions. You'll know in the movie I have coming up. Um, following this, you'll know how to email me. So I look forward to being with you in the summer of 2022 and stay tuned. Um, I want you to see this number on the first day handout. If you have a problem on Monday morning getting into the class, please call this number and just tell them you're having a problem getting into your class. Okay, 877-362-2662. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so let me hit Command-0 or Control-0 and then zoom in a little bit. Um, and I'm on a Mac. You, This class is, uh, and now all my tutorials should say Mac and PC quick keys. But let's go into Firefox or any browser that you have and I'm going to load the class in and show you what I'm talking about. So as I go into my Macomb here, when you click and log in to my Macomb right there, you're going to get a menu that is down here, right? So let's go all the way down to Canvas right there. See it? It's on the left hand side and I'm clicking it. So now in the Canvas class, that same number that I just gave you, if you have any problems or any questions, look down here at the bottom. It's that same number that I'm just highlighting right there. Okay, so give them a call. A call. But over here you have icons. Okay, now I have a lot of courses that are here, but over here you have icons, and this icon right here is to your class. MACA 1200V0801, 8 meaning 8 weeks. And that's what I want to talk to you about. So in this class, everything is there, and I put modules right on the top here okay because modules is where you get all the files alright and you pretty much only need to really go to grades and modules and assignments but you don't even need to go to assignments because it's in modules so I'm gonna click modules and I'm gonna show you that <clears throat> I have an opening announcement that if you click that you get um, the same stuff that's in the first day handout here are the weeks for the class now I want to stress this is an eight-week class normally fall and winter are 
16 weeks. So we have stuffed, compressed, capsulized um, 16 weeks of information into eight. Now, that's what I want to talk to you about, okay? Remember that I want to... Um, let me go back to modules and get back to what I was going to say because I haven't even shown you what I want to show you about Illustrator um, and this remember this is just to get you in this class and starting out so um, Brian's for real introduction movie to all the classes it's actually what you're watching right now the assignment list is important okay so I'm gonna download the assignment list right now so it's just a PDF and if you click that you can click this upper button right there and then we will go download the PDF to our screen and um, it should be on the screen right now yes it's right there so I'm not going to read it from here I'll actually open up the PDF but back to modules so in modules is where you get everything you see week one week one and don't be overwhelmed by all these movies they are only four or five minutes long not even that sometimes and they're of, of basic shapes so to 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 draw in illustrator is absolutely super important okay but um, let me get and I am gonna cover that I just wanna make this an informal introduction movie and let you know um, something very very important to me so um, that you need to keep in mind all semester long so in doing that I'm gonna open up this again which is your first day handout okay now let's go through it but in a in a very quick way and in a weird way I'm gonna go all the way to this red lettering down here and I want to expand this on the screen and I wanna read it with you okay so I this is what I wanna read and this is now after I read this hopefully you'll know me okay so I say the summer semester is a shortened eight-week time frame the weekly assignments above are usually spread over a 16-week semester please please see it remember that I am NOT focused on grades only learned skill portfolios are based on skill and content and I'll add something right now jobs are based on portfolios period try to execute you hear that try to execute the weekly assignments based on this above schedule that I'll go through in a few seconds okay or minutes knowing fully that I understand it may be overwhelming for you so just let me know at any time if you need more time on any or all assignments with no points off we can work after I do you know how many students I work with after the semester is over to finish content and notice I didn't say assignments because if you handle if you take each weekly project I notice I didn't say assignments that we're doing they can be portfolio quality if you hurry them you're not gonna wanna put them in your portfolio some of you have never been an illustrator some of you have been in Photoshop and illustrator and you're 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 already proficient and pretty fast some of you aren't I, this class is made for both of you we can work after the semester is over to build and execute any of the missing assignments and I even say okay I should have had a question mark there and not because you are required to complete a set list of assignments because this is a college class uh-uh rather you need to focus you need content for your portfolio presentation package and then I say this and I want to zoom in even closer there are three important items that all multimedia students need to understand throughout their training journey now read it with me portfolio 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 which is what I'm going to show you that I have my portfolio ready to kind of show you clients art directors and employers only care about your portfolio your real or your skill grades are important yes they are but they take a back seat to skill content and creativity now let's just go through the weekly assignments real fast this week one course let me move this over this week one corresponds to this week one got it so in here always review this have this available to you and what I should do is open up this PDF over here because I want you to see this too 
So that, the week one, you see here how it says the tool palette quiz is due at week one and the guide to pen and path assignment. There's two assignments and I'll zoom into this. So there's two assignments and let me move this over. And that is a person driving by in our, I'm trying to move this over, okay. Um, that is a person driving by in the RV park that I'm at. So your job is to draw out all of these shapes for week one and two because I'm giving you two weeks on this assignment because drawing paths in photo in Photoshop well it is in Photoshop the same technique drawing paths in Illustrator is absolutely mandatory that you understand the simplicity of paths they're gonna seem very difficult at first so in week two you in week three I'm sorry you begin guide three okay guide one is the tool test which I'll try to show you guide two is the pen and path guide three are the music icons when are they do at the end of week three if you don't have them done at the end of week three it's okay it's all right don't hurry them to get them in you guys have jobs you have lives you have this COVID that we're coming off of hopefully it'll be off of and life will be back to some kind of reasonable stuff but what I'm trying to say is I know you have a lot on your plate so if you only get through a set of these assignments I don't like assignments projects and it's the end of the semester that's okay I won't downgrade you if you show me effort did you hear that I will not downgrade you and I mean that I will not if you show me effort because we can complete them after the semester is over and I have a perfect technique to show you how to do that in fact in fact I'm gonna add um, go to my YouTube channel right now and I want you to see something on my YouTube channel right here I have playlists so in my YouTube channel here is the um, let me click playlists and you see how you have the Adobe Illustrator playlist. Well, if you click that, all I'm gonna have to stop me from talking here. Have your file in front of me. And okay, all the movies that for Adobe Illustrator are here. They're all here. You you can have them after the semester is over. Well, where do you get the asset files? Where do you get all the stuff that's in Canvas modules? Okay, so let me move this over and minimize this for a second and go to here. Okay, so where do you get like when you need to get the files for guide two you see how there's an asset zip you see how in week three here you need all the files look there is a music icon zip that's where you get them they download to your desktop week four there is a vintage logo zip and in each one the very top one is where you submit the assignment so that in each week the Dropbox, not Dropbox.com, just a Dropbox is where you submit assignments. I know I'm going over a lot of stuff, but just watch this a couple times. And I don't like PDF files. I have them for a couple assignments. You have to follow my movies. Why? Because you can rewind and rewind and rewind and rewind and see me execute the step that you need to learn how to do. So that's week four, Dropbox, and asset file in a zip week five Dropbox on top asset file right there see it now why did I take you there because look if I go to um, Google Drive let me go back to um, let me go quickly back to let me see yeah let me go here and let me go here and let me go to Google Drive okay so in Google Drive I have my summer class asset file by the end of the semester you will have this link too so I have placed for free here's the Adobe Illustrator asset files so every single one is here and that corresponds in number to the weeks to the weekly assignments okay and 9 and 10 are the info asset files in the infographic and the neon I've made those extra credit so let me that's how I've made 16 weeks into eight weeks so let me go back to this week three is the music icon week four is 
the logo. I'll show you the picture of it. Week five is something called Zentangle. Week six is the character assignment. Week seven is the gradient mesh. Week eight is the vector poster. Week nothing is an extra credit for infographics. Some of you who are very fast or you want to do this after the semester is over because you need to build content for your portfolio. Here are your extra credit. Neon clock which I'll kind of show you right now. So if I go to the PDF here you can see, let me zoom back out, here is, let's start at the top, your path assignment, your music icons, see how cool that is, and you get to design your own. So this isn't, I didn't do these, a student did. Okay, so I wanted you to see that you're going to do and learn the basic skill behind music, um, how to make the path. You're going to take your pen and path capability and start drawing. Then, then you actually start designing things like logos. Okay, and I'm going to show you something in a, in a few seconds the, on a client job that I just finished. Okay, so next week is a letter form called Zentangle, which you put, you learn how to do clipping masks and you put all sorts of cool graphics. This is your creativity. You don't do what I did. My name starts with a B. You can do whatever letter you have or whatever letter you have. It doesn't have to be your name but it can be anything and you can put any shape you want in there but you follow my movies to show how to do it this one you only turn in one file okay you turn in a character you actually draw these character shapes right there now that's pixelated so don't worry about it the next one you learn gradient meshing and I'll show you in gradient meshing a, a really advanced gradient mesh Okay, just so you can see it. And then the vector poster is fun. You actually put this together with just solid shapes. And I'll show you the actual one that I did for Lucasfilm there. Okay, the infographic is extra credit and the neon clock is extra credit. If you only get, let me go like this, if you only get, whoops, if you only get to a few of these assignments this semester and you show me really, really good effort, don't worry about your grade. Remember, we're not focused on grades. We're focused on stuff. We're focused on skill, creativity, and really liking Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so download this, and I'll show you again where it is. Download this right here. It's in the upper module. Where are modules? The second one down. There is your um, assignment list. Okay, so download it and then read it. But read the whole PDF because um, I really want to go back to Acrobat and show you in the weekly assignments here in the first day handout. It guides you through when something is due. Okay, so and you know that I don't mean if you don't turn it in by Sunday and it's marked late, I'm not going to take any points off okay and here's a really important thing I don't care about you having to redo or fix or re-edit assignments because I want great content for your portfolio so I let you turn in something and then return it in and then return it in and then return it in A's mean nothing great portfolios mean everything got what I mean okay so D follow week five through the extra credit one. You don't have to do the extra credit ones, but you should do the extra credit ones if you follow what I'm saying. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning of this just so you know again there's that number to call on Monday morning if you have an issue. Here are the breakdown for the weekly dates, and here are some important dates for the semester. And if you have to email me, I'll show you how to do that right now. So let's go into your class so I'm gonna click this and I don't remember what I've done yes I, I showed you how to get in the class right so on this home page you click canvas in canvas just like this you click this button right there which is the third one down for courses you're gonna you do you won't have all these courses in there but now you go into there and you have it so now I'm going to go to um, I am going to go to um, I forgot what I was going to go to. So, um, oh, well, I'll remember that in a second because I want you to see, um, oh, I know what I was going to do. Um, in the first page here, on the very first page, there are some movies that I want you to see. And I'm not going to put these links. 
I, I really want you to see my introduction movie and my portfolio movie. They are in the first day handout. So download the first day handout. Where is it? It's right there. Actually, I will put the links in because I'm going to send this to you the weekend before the class starts. So I will send you these two links. Okay, so you can watch the portfolio movie. But here's my portfolio movie. So I click it and I'm going to expand it to full screen. And we're just going to listen to me for a second. Just a second. Now listen to some of my words here. I built that in Adobe After Effects. I um, am creating this movie so that you can see my graphic portfolio, my love of teaching, and my love of writing. I have been a professional for over 40 years in the commercial art field, and I love what I do. I absolutely... So, please, watch the two links. The intro movie okay I'll even put the link for this movie in there so there will actually be three links it'll be um, this movie an introduction to all my classes movie and a Brian Sorio movie just so you can know everything about me and how important things are okay so what I want to do now is um, show you a couple things in Illustrator so this is a client job let me click to this tab and you see how I have um, two tabs open you don't have to remember any of these quick keys okay see how I have two tabs open if I hit command or control and the key above the tab key see it the key above the tab key is called the tilde key it's next it's to the left of the number one I can go back and forth between these two files see I don't have to click a tab I'm very much into shortcuts and quick keys now I'm gonna zoom in because I did this for a client just this last week here is the reference layer and I want to zoom in so you see how pixelated that is so that is what I used to redo this client didn't have the original artwork and I needed to redo it so I did it and it only took um, about four hours to do and here is my finished one now look I can zoom in here and I can come really close what does vector mean illustrator is Adobe Adobe Illustrator is based on vector what is be vector based on it's based on mathematics one a ratio of one to one is the same as a hundred to a hundred is the same as a thousand to a thousand so I can zoom in on this and there will be no pixels now contrary to that Photoshop, which this is a Photoshop JPEG, is based on raster, which is a fixed set of pixels. So you can't improve it. So if I zoom in on the same thing, you can see how pixelated that gets. So Adobe Illustrator is an amazing tool that you can make a ton of money on. Okay, And I will go through this semester and I will show you just how much money you can make on Adobe Illustrator. Now this is a very in-depth gradient mesh Adobe Illustrator job. So I'm going to turn off the space background at the moment. Let it turn off. I'm going to turn off Leia, but before I do that, I want you to see how clean Illustrator can be. That's amazing. I mean, that is amazing. How many hours did this one take? This one was done for Lucasfilm for their 25th celebration uh, 25th anniversary celebration series of posters. Now I am going to um, click on Leia's face with a direct selection tool. Let me um, make sure everything is unlocked, which it is. And now I should be able to go in and unlock everything in that subfolder. You can see the subfolder. And now if I click on this face, you can absolutely see although I'm not quite sure why that's not clicking let me just grab it now that is a gradient mesh of her face okay now I'm gonna go through just for a quick second here and I'm going to back off because I'm going to show you how illustrator works okay so let's turn off Han for a minute let me find him here okay let me turn off Han completely so now Han is gone right and let's now open up Leia's turn off her arm her right arm let me move this over so you can see what I'm clicking right here and I'm almost done this assignment why am I showing you this not to intimidate you absolutely not I'm showing you this so you can see and I'm just gonna click on off all of these things here so 
I'm turning off right now her eyebrows, her hair front, her ears. I'm turning them off. I'm turning off the texture on her face, the right eye, the left eye. Let's zoom in. I'm turning off her mouth, her face itself, and I'll turn off the rest of that material. Now I'll turn the face back on so you can see that that is the gradient mesh that I actually built for her. Okay, And it starts as one simple shape and works its way to that. Now, look at how I can turn the face off, turn on the right eye, turn, I'm sorry, the left eye, turn on the right eye, and now look at how it blends right into the face. That is amazing. Illustrator is amazing. I'm not amazing. Illustrator is amazing. Illustrator can do so very much. How are those eyes done? If I turn off the left eye and go into the left eye, look at how there's a pupil. You see that? An inner eye and the outer surface. So now I'll marquee this so you can see all of the gradient mesh shapes in there. All of these points that are on the outside, they simply blend into the same color that the face has. So now, whoops, let me click on this. Now you can see how you can't see the edge. I know that looks weird, doesn't it? Let me turn off, let me um, turn on the white of her eye and then, oh, she looks kind of sick there and now there's her face. I can do the same thing with Han. So I'm gonna turn this off here and I want you to see something based on um, Illustrator looking so real. Why does Illustrator look so real there? The answer is, and let me open up Han, open up this, unlock every, whoops, unlock everything there Actually, I'm glad I turned that off. And let me turn off his, um, uh, let me find the texture, 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 right there. So texture, look at how in his face, right there, it looks like a rubber mannequin, okay? I have movies based on this. Look at how I'm turning, oh, that doesn't look good right now. Um, it must be a screen display. And oh, no, I just had to zoom in a little bit. So now look at how he has, let me back off. For some reason, um, an illustrator needs to have updates all the time, all the time, okay? Let me turn on everything so you can see it's all intact, all right? And if I can zoom in, I have to zoom in that far to see his texture on his face. So if I turn in, turn off this, you can see he doesn't have any texture. So if I turn off the face, you're going to see now me turn on the texture and you can see just how I don't know why that's it's only a screen display that that's turning out kind of weird like um, which is fine I don't care so um, I just wanted you to see just how amazing Adobe Illustrator can be so it is um, it is a, a complete for those of you that don't understand how important it is to work with Photoshop and Illustrator together they work as a tandem. So let me close this file and not save it. And then I'll do the same thing with this and not save it. And then you're going to see my portfolio as it goes on the screen here on this portfolio movie. Welcome to this semester. Um, on Monday morning, should you have a problem, okay, look what you're going to do. I'm going to click back on the Canvas class and I'm going to click on email. Right here is the inbox. So when you load your class and you need to send me a message, click on the inbox. You see this icon right there? Click it. It's compose a new message. Now select your course. So I'll go to the my, my summer course right there. You click the little people icon over here and you can choose teachers. And now choose Brian Sorio and then type your message it could be question on assignment one or two or three or four so now um, send me a message you can even listen to this attach your illustrator file to this message no matter how big it is no matter how large it is in memory so that I can open up your file see what the problem is and I'll send you back a movie in my reply that you can follow and get right back to work. Why does an online class work? How can this work possibly well? Well you know how an on-ground class is like Monday, Wednesday or Tuesday, Thursday? What if you had a question on Thursday night? You'd have to wait until Tuesday morning to get an answer but not so. You send me an email with your movie and I can send you back the answer Friday morning got it so you're back to work 
right away. That's why we can get so much done in this online semester, is specifically because I have all those movies for you to use. And that's really important. So um, send me an email if you have to. Remember, please, that in your class, let me go back to your course, in your class is everything that is set. And if I have done something, if, if, if one of the links doesn't work, just let me know. Okay, if if one of the links to the movies don't work, just let me know. I'll fix it and life is good. Okay, so on the very first week, please go to week one and watch this movie. Watch me first. Week one is very important. Watch it. It'll guide you through how to do everything in this week, including and I'm going to bring it up very quickly. Um, here is your um, illustrator test that you have to take. Now, let me show you what it's going to look like. So you're going to study all of these. I mean, you, it's be easy to cheat, right? Just to have this in front of you. I would hope that you wouldn't cheat, but here is the exact thing. I'm just going to bring it up and show you the multiple choice quiz. Here it is, and I'll preview it the way you see it. So here's the way you see it. So choose the keyboard shortcut for the direct selection tool. Well, I'll tell you right now it's the A key, okay? It's the top one because it's the letter A. I won't give you any more than that, but I just answer all of these and try not to have the PDF open next to you, okay? So let's go back to modules. Welcome to my class. Let me know what you think. Send me an email on what you think of what I've said, on what you think of my portfolio movie, and how excited you are for the semester. It's all about creativity and content, okay? Grades are secondary. But if you worry about creativity and content, your grade will take care of itself. So welcome and we'll talk.